Hi everybody, Simon Bielman here. I am going to show off some of the new features that we have here in the upcoming Harmonia Tech Demo. Uh, 0 .0 0.0.3, this is pre-release 1 right over here. Uh, first of all, we notice you have this nice little window that tells you what to do in our instructional, uh, in our 3D demo here. And nothing too out of the ordinary. You'll notice some new textures here. We redid the trees, so now everything looks good there and a lot of the other textures. So all around things look cleaner. Uh, the water texture is new. It looks a lot prettier than it was before, um, including the background here. The horizon line is better. So mostly we've just been focusing on uh, tiny little uh, graphical tweaks here and there, so everything looks prettier in general. Um, I can't remember if this was in the last one, but we have eight degrees of movement right here, as you can see. And you can randomize your sprite's color, which is tons of fun. And uh, we... oh. So we were preparing for an interactive um, we we're preparing for an interactive demo here that's going to demonstrate combat and uh, some basic scenes and um, cutscenes and dialogue. So first of all, let's just show what we have with the combat information here. Notice that when you hover your mouse over a sprite now it has this neat little glow effect. And when you hit it, the number pops up like before, but now it looks better. It bounces and uh, there's this nice little effect where your sprite shakes around, it hovers off the ground and glows red and uh, flashes violently. So let's spawn another one over here. Let's hit him. Notice that we ourselves flash when we attack so that we can tell who's attacking what. Eventually we're gonna have uh, um, combat animations and such so you will uh, actually see what's going on here and it will make a lot more sense but for the most part, this is pretty good. You have a nice satisfying effect, and for whatever reason, you can have them fly off the ground, which is just kind of fun. Not that you would ever actually see this happen in the game. Alright, another thing that we put in, you can now pop open a little chat dialog, and you'll notice that the sprite matches the, uh, the portrait, rather, matches the sprite and the sprite colors, and uh, the effects on the sprite will show up in the portrait. They're a bit out of sync right now because we need to do some, uh, there's a minor little bug in the, in the uh, rendering engine that uh, things are being rendered in the wrong order. So this is, this here is a bit delayed, and, but this is right on time. But you will notice uh, this is some sample dialogue. When you click on NPCs, you'll show this chat window. In the future, we'll have selectable choices and menu features. This is going to be... Uh, the replacement for the menu in game that we currently have when you connect to it. Uh, like the stat window and the inventory menu and anytime you talk to somebody where it has the nice little box around there and then blah 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 blah. It's going to have this little thing with uh, text and you'll be able to highlight uh, selections and it'll have a portrait that matches the character you're talking to. So, apparently Slate is online, let's get rid of that. Let's see, what else, what else? Um, they are context context sensitive. Oh yeah, notice that it matches the uh, sprite that we're selected, and if we were even to change our colors, it updates with it. Oh, now for some reason these are updating at the same time. I don't know why this is so delayed. Something to figure out later. All right, so depending on where our sprites are, the chat window appears in a different spot, so it's easy to tell who's saying what. Sorry, this is just kind of fun. Oh, let's talk to him so we can watch the portrait update. All right. Oh, I haven't done this. If we do ours, yep, we see ourselves flash a little bit. Eventually, you'll be able to move this around, but you can't at the moment, so let's get rid of that. The other thing that we've just done is we have put the map editor in the game. Let me find a good map. Actually, I guess this is a good map. So press E, the tile selection thing comes up, and here we have all the tiles that are available in this map. So let's just add some water here. Notice the height map dynamically uh, changes as we mess around with it. And it adds a nice little coastlines and everything. I like this little grid effect where you can really tell what's going on. There's some uh, tile selection issues at the moment that we need to fix. It's the sort of thing where I know how to do it. I just need to uh, have the time to go do it. So it's a little flaky right now, but it gets the job done. 
Um, we also, oh, I should go demonstrate that. Um, this is not going to seem like new stuff if you've been following uh, Facebook or Twitter posts or anything, but um, we have uh, new snowy trees and snowy textures. I guess I can just draw it over here instead of walk on all the way over to the icy area. These look pretty nice. Now it looks actually like we're in a snowy area. And what is this? Is this any different? Hmm, odd, okay. Paths throughout here. And we have a new ice texture that overlays this nice uh, semi-transparent ice over everything. That's pretty exciting. Let's actually just make our way over to that area. Just shrinking the window. My poor, my poor little laptop can't handle all this recording I'm doing all at the same time. Let's get rid of this. Uh, okay. All right, here we go. So here we have the snowy area. These trees should be uh, white eventually. Just a little map, Mac bug I need to fix. Nothing big deal. So let's see, what can we do here? Haven't updated the lava texture yet. Need to get around to that. We can put a volcano somewhere in here. Surrounded with ash, wherever the ash texture is. Ah, oh, here we go. This one has yet to be updated. We've noticed, we've, uh, so, so long, Alyssa, we've updated most of these. Here we have the, uh, here we have the new swamp, which is no longer a nuclear neon green, or, uh, magenta, rather. It's nice and murky, nice and ugly. Eh, nice and ugly. The wall texture is updated on the top, so that looks better. Uh, mountains have a nice outline. Let's see what else. The grass is greener. We've added a, in case you didn't notice, we've added a little outline along the, around the path. That gives it some more contrast there. And ho-hum. The dead trees now look dead. All right, and we have a new desert texture. That looks pretty snazzy if I say so myself. Let's just draw that a bit there. And let's get rid of this so we get rid of the grid. All right, now let's adjust the time of day. When it gets too bright, you really can't see all the dunes, but when... Uh, I think that looks pretty great. Pretty nice. So now we have a nice kind of swamp, spring, desert, uh, snow area, which doesn't make any sense to me, but whatever, let's just roll with it. All right, I think that's about everything. Thanks.